ओके गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून एंड गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स दो आर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू दीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन पेपर ऑफ आवर अकाउंटेंसी ओके विल डिस्कस प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन पेपर ऑफ अकाउंटेंसी गॉट इट सो कम टू आवर पेपर सी एज यू सी हेर इट इज रिटर्न This question paper has two sections, section A and section B. So, attempt all questions of section A means all questions of section A are compulsory, and section B has two options. Candidate are required to attempt questions from one option only. Okay, and <clears throat> next is each question from question number one to nine have four alternatives. Has four alternatives. It means they are multiple choice questions. and the alternatives are a b c d out of which okay one is most appropriate so you have to choose the correct answer among the four alternatives and you have to write it in your answer book against the number of questions okay no extra time is allowed for attempting mc multiple choice questions okay this is your instruction right now we'll discuss one by one first we'll discuss section 1 questions c the reserve which can be utilized for writing of preliminary expense is called h can you tell me see as you know the reserve for writing of preliminary expenses what does it mean it means it means see as you know two types of reserves are there one is general reserve another one is specific reserve so general reserve means which is uh, for any purpose for a general purpose specific reserve means what the reserve which can be utilized for a specific reserve is called uh, for a specific purpose is called a specific reserve right okay so here our question is reserve which can be utilized for writing of preliminary expenses see as i have just see general reserve specific reserve is there another type of reserve is there like here see general reserve means it is created out of operational profit from uh, regular profit of the business capital reserve as we know capital reserve is created out of capital profit what do you mean by capital profit capital profit means profit which uh, arises by selling capital assets like sell of land sell of building machinery furniture pictures okay so by selling this type of properties this type of capital assets if you are getting some profit that is called capital profit and remember so uh, out of the capital profit we are creating capital reserve means some portion we are keeping for uh, as a capital reserve so this capital reserve can be utilized for writing of prelim expenses and other expenses or losses capital losses right so here your answer will be capital reserve okay next when a fixed amount is withdrawn by a partner at a, at the end of each quarter so interest on drawing is charged for the duration of as there is a formula okay what is that formula see at the end of each quarter means what suppose suppose i am telling our year starts on 1st of january and year ends on 31st december so you can easily calculate it so from 1st january to 31st december as you know there are four quarters in a year so first quarter is from 1st of january to 31st march okay january february march three months second quarter is from 1st of april to okay 30 june the june right third quarter is 1st of july to july august जुलाई अगस्त एंड सितंबर ओके थर्टी फर्स्ट सितंबर देन नेक्स्ट इज फ्रॉम अक्टूबर फर्स्ट टू थर्टी फर्स्ट डिसंबर ओके यस और नो सो दिस आर फोर क्वार्टर्स सो इफ फिक्स्ड अमाउंट इज विड्रॉन बाय अ पार्टनर एट द एंड ऑफ ईच क्वार्टर सो व्हाट यू हैव टू डू हियर सपोज the partner withdrawn fixed amount say for example 5000 in each quarter at the end of each quarter means 
our first quarter ends on 31st March. It means the partner withdraws at the end of which quarter means at the end of first quarter, that is 31st March, a partner withdraws 5,000. So when a partner withdraws some amount on 31st March, okay, he will be charged interest for remaining nine months. Am I right? He will be charged interest for remaining nine months. And similarly, when a partner withdraw amount on 30 June, then he will be charged interest for remaining six months. And here also, if 31st September means October, November, December for remaining three months. And here also, if you at the end of quarter means 31st December means here interest will be charged for zero months. So what you have to do as we have a formula, you just take the uh, month or period for first quarter period for last quarter. Just add these two. That is 9 plus 0, 9 divided by 2 will get 4.5 month means if a partner withdraws fixed amount at the end of each quarter, he or she will be charged interest for four and a half. So your answer will be 4.5 or four and a half months. Got it really? <laughs> Next. Which of the following statement is not related to fixed capital account? As we know, there are two capital systems in partnership. Fixed and fluctuating. So under our fixed capital system, two accounts are maintained. One is capital, another one is current. So here capital remains fixed. Opening and closing both will remain fixed unless until the partner contributes some amount during the year. And all other items relating to capital like interest on capital, interest on drawing, all they are recorded in a separate account that is called current account. Now what you have to do, we'll study, we'll read out these points and we'll See which of the following is not related to cap fixed capital system. Both capital and current account of partners are prepared under this system. This is related. The capital account balance normally remains unchanged except under special circumstances. This is also related. Capital account can show a debit balance or a credit balance at the end of the period. Okay. And all accounts, oh, sorry, all adjustments are recorded in current account, but not in capital account. This is also correct. Okay, so point C is not correct. As we know, capital C under this system, what we are doing, we are maintaining two accounts. One is capital and another one is current. Under this system, capital account remains fixed. So capital account will always show a credit balance under fixed capital system. Under fixed capital system, capital account will always show a credit balance. But here it is given can show a debit or a credit. So it is not related to fixed capital system. So your answer will be point number C, right? Come to next question four. A partner retires from firm with the consent of all partner or as per the terms of the agreement at his own will or in any of the situations. Okay. <clears throat> so see. So. As you know, a partner may retire from the firm with the consent of all partners as per the terms of agreement or it is own wish. Means in any of the situations, if a partner, if there is an agreement, then according to the agreement, the partner will retire. If partner wants to retire, then he can retire as per his own will or he can retire with the consent of all the partners. So in any of the above situation, a partner can retire. Okay. Got it. Next. <clears throat> Which of the following item is not recorded in credit side of a revaluation? So as you know, if suppose this is the revaluation. So in revaluation account, what we will write? We will write. So see, we'll write all decrease in the value of asset. And an increase in the liability. See, here you'll write increase in asset and increase in liability. We'll write on the debit side. And credit side, just opposite of it. Increase in asset and decrease in liability. We'll write in the credit side. 
So which of the following is not recorded on the credit side? Not recorded means C. Decrease in the well of asset will write on the debit side. So answer will be this one. Okay. Decrease in the well of right will write in the credit side. Increase in the well of asset will write in the credit side. Loss on devaluation also will write in the credit side. So the answer will be point number A. Got it? Next question is our when a firm is dissolved as per the agreement of partnership, it is called as. Can you tell me? See, when a partnership firm gets dissolved as per the terms of the partnership agreement, then it is called dissolution by agreement. Simple. It is called what? Dissolution by agreement. Got it? Next. The part of authorized capital which company offers to the public, it is called issued capital. Authorized capital means what? The maximum amount of capital that a company can raise by use of shares from the public that is called authorized capital. Okay. Maximum capital. So out of the authorized capital, if uh, uh, the part of authorized capital that a company offers or issues to the public, that is called issued capital. Next one is, a company can enter into the contract in its own name. So the characteristic of the company highlighted in the above example is artificial legal person. Company is a separate artificial person. It can enter into any agreement, any contract in its own name. Okay. The next one is the debenture which are transferable merely by delivery is called bearer debenture. Means there is no agreement, nothing. Bearer means what? like if you have, if you have suppose 10 rupees, 20 rupees, 100 rupees, that is bearer. I will give you now that rupees and that 20 rupees belongs to you. Okay. I, you will give somebody else that 20 rupees belongs to that particular person. This is called bearer. So if something is transferable by mere delivery means that 20 rupees is transferable by mere delivery only. So that is called bearer. Okay. Got it. So these are our MCQ questions. Okay. Now come to our uh, three mark questions. State any three points of importance of our financial statements. Okay. As we know, what are the financial statements? As you know, financial statement includes income statement, right? Then position statement, income statement is also called trading and profit and loss account. Got it? Then position statement, which is also called balance sheet. Then cash flow statement. Then statement of changes in owner's equity. And last one is our explanatory notes. So these are our financial statements. So question is why these statements are required? What are the importance of this financial statement? Why we are preparing this? So you can write it in your own words also. As you know, the first importance is to know the uh, operation of the, to, to, to know the result of the operation and the finance. The result of the operation means what? Whether profit or loss and the financial position of the business. This is the first importance. Second, it facilitates in decision making. Okay. As these are so the strength and weakness of the business. So it helps various parties like management, investors to take various important decisions. Okay. And it shows the performance of our business. So these are three points of importance. You can write it. Next question is difference between receipt and payment and income and expenditure. Quite see receipt and payment, income and expenditure. Both are same. But what is that? What are the differences? It is receipt and payment account is prepared by non-profit making organizations okay non-profit organizations npu and income and state uh, uh, sorry sorry we are writing receipt and payment income and expenditure sorry i thought it is this uh, income and expenditure profit and loss sorry receipt and payment account means what 
it is just like the cash book of a profit making organization and income and expenditure is just like the profit and loss of a profit making organization so what are the differences between these two as you know receipt and payment account is just like cash book so it records all receipts whether capital or revenue but income and expenditure account is uh, records only revenue items okay it records all revenue and capital both items this is the first difference second one is second one is second difference is what the cash book sorry the receipt and payment account means just like cash book okay so it starts with opening balance of cash in hand or cash at bank right because this is just like cash book. but income and expenditure account has no opening balance like that okay here in cash book no adjustment is required for outstanding prepaid like that but in income and expenditure account adjustments are required for outstanding prepaid received in advance like that okay got it so these are see here it is mentioned on the basis of nature on the so on the basis of opening balance we have discussed on the basis of uh, what uh, adjustment we have discussed on the basis of nature means what receipt and payment account is the summary of cash book and income and expenditure account is the summary of revenue income and revenue expenditures clear so these are the three differences between these two okay got it